Hey, what's up everyone, TJ here. Today I wanted to look at the Huck Knife Pro with you guys. It's a brand new snowboard for the 2020 season from Solomon, so let's get right into it. All right guys, so the Huck Knife Pro is a beefed up version of the Huck Knife. So this is gonna be a high-end, high-performance, freestyle snowboard. It is a true twin. It's gonna ride just the same in either direction, centered stance, and it also runs a camber dominant profile. So I was getting that more powerful, more precise feeling that you get with the camber in this snowboard. It does have a little bit of a rockered release in the nose and tail though. You still get that camber feel that you want, but it's not hooking into the snow every chance that it gets. And on that note, while Solomon was putting together this board, I think some of the main goals was to keep it really lightweight while still being able to offer a good amount of stability for those larger features, larger lines, and uh, still have some good pop as well. So you will find some carbon built into this snowboard, particularly in the nose and tail. There's some carbon that starts right outside the insert pack and you have two stringers going to the contact points, one coming straight out the middle all the way to the tip. You can actually see it through the top sheet on the tail, so that's a pretty nice touch. You can see what the carbon's doing. And there's actually some carbon built into the sidewall as well, running down the entire length of the board. So that's just gonna help to further the energy and the tension you can load up in this board while still keeping the weight down. I'd say that's probably the first thing I noticed about this guy when I first picked it up. It is a very light snowboard and that doesn't compromise uh, the performance that it gives you at all. And uh, also runs a centered base. So higher end base, faster, stronger, more durable. Just make sure you're giving this guy some wax fairly often so it keeps that nice glide that you're used to. And uh, yeah, overall, all the highest end materials from Solomon put into a true twin freestyle snowboard for you guys. I thought the flex on the Huck Knife Pro was pretty interesting. Overall, definitely I'd say stiffer side of medium, but it had kind of a progressive flex. So what I mean by that is that you could get a little bit going without too much effort, and then it really stiffened up and had that medium stiff feel to it. So I feel like that helped me to get a little bit more leverage or get set up to get more leverage for presses and butters and things like that while still coming through with that burly support and stability, a nice platform to set up for ollies, giving the guy a nice pop. And overall, I'd say it's not the easiest board for presses. You're gonna have to put some muscle into it if you wanna flex this guy out. But even though this is a stiffer snowboard, I found that it was pretty easy to control even at slower speeds. A lot of times the personality on stiffer boards really don't come out until you get the board up to higher speeds. But even on the approach, to smaller rails and smaller features. Uh, the Huck Knife Pro is very maneuverable and I think that's because it has a softer torsional flex. If you try to twist the snowboard with your feet, it doesn't feel nearly as stiff as it does trying to flex it from nose to tail. So that softer torsional flex just helped to get those uh, smaller adjustments at slower speeds going in the park or outside of the park as well. It's a lively board. I definitely felt it giving some feedback. If you push the snowboard, it's gonna push back. It's definitely sturdy enough where you can feel confident as you're ripping around, even as you get going pretty fast. But I would say this is still for sure a freestyle snowboard, you know? Um, I wouldn't buy it as an all mountain board. I would say at least 50, 60% of the time focusing on riding in the park, doing freestyle stuff. But in those circumstances where you do wanna go outside of the park, you wanna rip some high speed groomers with your friends, whatever the situation may be, it's gonna be fun for that as well. But if you really wanna focus on that, there's probably some better options. I think this guy is most at home in the park doing freestyle stuff. I'd also say that as far as that spectrum goes, the Hug Knife Pro is a more jump friendly snowboard. It's the kind of board you can roll up to the biggest jumps in the park confidently. You know that you're gonna get some good pop out of it. It's gonna come through for you with the stability on landings. You can still have fun on the jibs as well, but with the stiffness that you get on the Huck Knife Pro, it's the kind of board that on rails, even as you get out over the tip, say you're doing like a front board or a back board and you lean into it, the board's gonna hang on. And, and Instead of flexing out. So it's gonna be harder to get those more exaggerated, really tall presses going. You're gonna to have to use a lot of muscle for that. So a little compromise there. Uh, that's why I would say a better jump board overall for park riding. Biggest highlights for me are the quick turn to get out of this guy and the stability, both in the park and outside of the park. I'd say it's a solid all mountain freestyle choice for the freestyle rider. So if you're a more intermediate to advanced rider, looking to progress on jumps, you want a board that's really gonna be there for you no matter what feature you're hitting, no matter uh, how fast you get going on it, Huck Knife Pro is gonna be a good option, a nice high energy, lightweight, high-end park board. 
I'm gonna have this board linked down below in the description for you guys to go check out. Let me know what your thoughts are down in the comments. Let me know what you think about it. Let me know if you have any questions. Please make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it, guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in a new one soon.